Hey guys, Brian here from Better Chest Training, and in today's video, we're going to talk about how to use the key moves feature in Chessable when you create your own course. Okay, in this video, I'm going to talk about key moves and how to set them and use them in Chessable. So, key moves allows you to select which moves out of a specific variation you want to actually test. And it's not always, uh, at least when I first started doing it, it wasn't always the, um, the most intuitive thing to do. So I'm going into one of my uh, courses that I've created, and I'm going to look at this variation here. Okay, and I'm going to edit it. And you can see here this variation is 10 moves long. Now, in this particular case, um, I only wanted to test the first two moves of the variation uh, because the rest of it is sort of just um, illustrating how, how the game is converted. Okay, So uh, as you can see here, f5 and bishop takes d5, the first and second moves are bolded because those are key moves. And you can see that down here, they're key moves. So uh, you can see out of the 10, the 10 moves, uh, if I go to bishop takes d5, that's also set as a uh, key move. The reason that I do that is that the uh, chessable will take the first key move that you set and the final key move that you set and test you on those positions. So just to illustrate, I'm going to go to bishop takes d5 and I'm going to not make it a key move. And instead, I'm going to go over here to h takes g5 and make that a key move instead. Okay, and now if I update it, and let's go see it, uh, now we can see that all of these moves are bolded, but the final moves are not. So if I go into the chapter, let me just refresh here. Um, if I review it, it should require me to do... Uh, more of the moves, and that's what it is doing here. So you can see here, before I just had two moves that it's testing, and now it's testing me for uh, more of them. So let's see here. So uh, it went all the way to my key move, which was h takes g5 in this case. Okay. Now, let's say there's only one move that you want to test in a variation. By the way, I, I, you could use the PGN and eliminate... Um, you know, moves too, if you just want to make the penny. This is, uh, for example, in this case, it's an end game, and the key moves that I wanted to test were the first couple moves just to show the concept. But I also wanted to show how, uh, in this case, uh, Lev Polgayevsky, how he converted the end game. Now, let's say there is a particular move, and let's just use the same uh, variation here, just uh, for example. And let's say I eliminate f5 as a key move. So I'm going to do that, and I update it. So the only key move here is h takes g5. However, because it's at the end of a variation, or it's towards the end of the variation, it's going to take the key move all the way to the end. And just to check that, I just want to make sure that... Uh, uh, let's go back to edit variation... Uh, here, h takes g5 is the only key move set. If I wanted to, again, if I wanted to just test a couple moves within here, I would set those other ones as the key move. Because I set this as the key move, I believe, well, let's go, um, so let's update variation. Let's go see it. I believe that if I go to the chapter, It's only going to test me. Okay, so this actually works differently sometimes. Um, it only tests me on the one move that I set as the key move. So um, you want to make sure, if you wanted to test one move, you're going to set that as the key move. If you want to test a series of moves in a longer variation, then you're going to want to set the first move and the last move. Now, just to finish up here, why would you want to do this? And to show you, I'm going to go to uh, one of my opening uh, repertoire uh, chapters here. And let's just take a look here. And the whole point behind doing this is that, uh, by the way, this is the, the lifetime repertoire is Nims over Gozen. 
by uh, Fide Master Barish, and I am uh, Christoph Zielecki. You Many of you guys may know that. And you can see here, uh, if you can, let me see if I can make this uh, larger for you so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. Uh, you can see here in these first couple variations that every move is bolded. That means if you uh, learn these, you will be tested on every move. And of course, this is if you set your um, study to key moves. Uh, for most of my opening books, I do all moves, but that's just my preference. But the whole point is that if you look at this next variation, um, it is the key move is set at um, move number seven. Okay, and the reason why is that the first six moves are the same as the variation ahead of it, okay, because uh, it is um, just an alternative move, okay? Um, similarly, if we look at this next variation, we can see here 7G3, 7G3, the key move, uh, the next variation is here at move 10. So if you did key moves, um, it would only start testing you at 10. So this is useful for openings when you have, uh, say a main line that's uh, say five or six moves long, but maybe there's three or four alternatives on the seventh move and you want to quiz each of the different variations. So you might not necessarily want to repeat all of the first few moves. Although, like I said, I've done that in um, my openings for my own purposes, but that's where you would set the key moves there. Now, if you upload a PGN with several variations and you um, have it create each variation as a separate um item here in Chessable, it will automatically set these key moves for you. But of course, you can do it in a custom way as well. So, hey guys, I hope you found that helpful. And I hope that it helps you to understand how to use key moves when you're creating your own courses on Chessable. As you know, I enjoy using Chessable quite a bit and I both uh, purchase courses that I study as well as creating my own, both uh, for analyzing my own games and putting down positions that I think are helpful for me to remember, as well as uh, if I'm studying, say, a master game and I want to uh, understand a concept and keep remembering it, I will create an item for that as well, as you saw in uh, the examples here today. Uh, over here, I've got some more chessable tips, so check that out. And if you want to consider supporting uh, the channel, uh, go down below and you can become a part of Team Backrank Brawler as well. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you soon.